Hello everyone, this is Dr. Striker Boy. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And I'm about to play me some Dragon Ball Fighters the open beta. Finally, the networks are actually getting a little bit better. It is like past midnight and it, I didn't think I was going to be able to find an opponent. So I just, I did not think someone was actually going to fight. So obviously I put the voices in Japanese just because I like it. So I don't know if you guys have English or anything like that. So my team is Goku, Vegeta, and Beerus, the god of destruction. This is my first time, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to expect. Good thing I did some tutorials. I did some training. I'm only missing three more. So hopefully with this whole tutorial, I kind of know what I'm doing. So I don't know how good this guy is. He seems like he could be a little bit tough for me. So I guess he has Krillin. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I'm actually really nervous. So bear with me, okay? Because, huh. Sadly, this is not two players. I was really hoping that this was going to be two players, but it's not. I was hoping I could verse one of you guys and get my butt whipped by you guys. But apparently, they don't have that in the beta, so it kind of sucks. Yes, if for those who did not know, this game is out in the beta for everyone. Whether you pre-order it or not, feel free to download it on the PlayStation, Xbox One, no matter what. It's good to do the tutorial. I did that since I couldn't. I was able to log into the network, but I wasn't. I was having difficulties finding a match, so I just did tutorials, and I was just doing that. So trust me, it does help for those who didn't even know that it's where King Kai Planet is, a little bit towards where where you first enter the when you first enter. If you make a left, and then make another left, you'll see it. It's like a cloud, and trust me, it's helpful. So right now, I am. I'm losing, and I'm trying to put up a good fight, so, I don't really, this is my first time, like I said, hopefully, if this keeps working, then maybe I'll be doing a live stream, so, stay tuned for that, even though I know you guys can't really play with me, which is a bummer, hopefully in the real game it does, I don't know if you guys are going to get the season pass, it's uh, $35, so if you want to get the game with the uh, season pass, that's pretty much $95 so I don't know what's in it nobody knows what's in it that's like a big risk so I don't know if you guys are having fun with this I don't know if there's any possible way you guys can join my region or I could join your region or you could join my net I don't know if that works I don't know like I said this is like I'm really new to this I was just playing Need for Speed and I'm like hey let me just go on the beta real quick and then I did and well here I am and then I found a match so I never play with Beerus, and I never play with Vegeta, but everything should be the same kind of with the whole using your special, your ultimate, your rush attack, your dragon rush, all that stuff. It should be all the same. So, but Beerus is pretty, well, can I clutch this? I don't even know if I could clutch it. Come on. Look at that. Look, I just hit him in the neck. Oh, can I kill him? Can I kill him? Wait, how's he regenerating health? What? Oh, he used Krillin. He oh, dang, he got that victory. Can I rematch with this guy? I hope I can rematch. Come on. Wow, man, that was a close one. Good game, good game. Oh yeah, you could rematch. I want to rematch. All right, he accepted it. Yeah, I like the outro. Like I like how they do the little intro right there. I kind of like this game is actually pretty fun. Honestly, this game is seriously fun. I'm actually loving this game. Look, like, the way it is, the, the 2D graphics, it is amazing. I, I don't know, like, I, oh, they, I don't know if there's a campaign. I don't know anything about that, but I'm pretty sure there is. There should be a campaign. And it is online-based, as you can see. Like, everyone's online. I don't think there is offline. So, if you don't have internet, or PlayStation Plus, or gold, then <laughs> you might want to start getting that because this game comes out next Friday. Yes, next Friday it's coming out. But honestly, I like how they do the, the attacks. I like how they do these destructive, this uh, like destruction when you do like when you're about to kill the opponent and you do like your ultimate or if you do a heavy attack. I like how they did the animation. It's really cool. Like, like I got that. Trust me, I got a heavy attack and I got like blown off to the city and I was dead apparently so but this guy is pretty I mean he's a decent fighter but wait until I get oh wow he made me change my own character I, I know you can do that 
Oh look, I killed Krillin. Vegeta's not that bad. I was actually hesitant with Vegeta, but no, he's actually pretty good. Let me do the new transformation that I did in Dragon Ball Super Episode 123. <laughs> Imagine. Yo, they better add Ultra Instinct in this one. I mean, they have to. I mean, come on now. Like, they should. They should implement that in this game. If it's not, then wow, that's gonna suck. But hey, whatever. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this game is better than Xenoverse? Honestly, in my honest opinion, this game is actually 10 times better than Xenoverse 2. I mean, I liked it when Xenoverse came out the first time because it was something different. It's about time travel. You gotta, you know, do this. I like how they did the approach. I like how they did it. But then when Xenoverse 2 came out, which I don't really know why there was a sequel to it. I just don't understand it because it's technically the same thing. You're doing the same thing, except you could do a little bit more than what you could do in Xenoverse. You can actually fly around, you can actually do a lot more stuff. Yeah, I was playing it, it was cool, you have more character selection, but I don't know, it's just like, making your own character, okay, that was cool, but then other characters can make their characters OP, and some people don't have that, and some people can't have a good battle and all that stuff, and then, I don't know, I like the old Dragon Ball Z games like this, where you can only pick these characters, no customized characters, so it could be an even fight. That's just how I like it. That's me. I don't know about you guys, hey, everyone has their own opinions, I'm not judging, but in all honesty, oh look, I got all seven Dremble's. In all honesty, this game is, I think this game is going to be good. Just by playing the beta, I'm already excited just to get this game. And look, I already won with Beerus. Look at that. Bam. Oh yeah, will this guy do another rematch? Will he do another rematch? Come on. Rather than assist me in battle, I would prefer it. If I would prefer if you got Bulma to prepare some post-workout sweeps. <laughs> That's Beerus for you. <laughs> I don't know, I like the Japanese. I'm so used to watching them in Japanese that it's just like, I don't know. Because I've been playing a lot of Dragon Ball Z in English and they never really get the option to do that. But look, look at that. I'm like little mini Vegeta. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever played Dragon Ball Z game in, uh, in a Game Boy Advance. It kind of looks similar. Well, thank you guys for watching. I guess this guy didn't want to do a rematch so we can actually break the tiebreaker. So I'm glad you guys tuned into this channel. I guess it was short. I was hoping it was going to be a good battle. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.